Welcome to Cake Playground, where it's all about the fun. This tutorial is on isomalt butterflies. I've used them here on this cake. It gives a beautiful sense of flight. And these butterflies are beautiful and glass-like. We're going to do two methods today, the wired butterfly and the butterfly on the wooden skewer. Both will make beautiful additions to your cake. You will need the following equipment. Gloves to protect your hands, cotton and non-latex. Mats to protect your counter, a thick vinyl mat. Silicone molds, here by Cake Connection. Pre-cooked and colored isomalt sticks, here by Get Sassy in Ice Blue. A glass heatproof measuring cup. A small butane torch. Either floral wire engage 24 or wooden skewers, silicone mat, and other equipment including a gum paste tool, all shown here. Start off by breaking the isomalt sticks into the heat proof glass cup. Then you're going to melt the isomalt sticks in the microwave starting off at a minute and then 20 second intervals until it looks like this. Pour the isomalt into the silicone mold. You see I've already done the one on the left. Start at the top and pour down. You don't pour completely to the edge. You're going to use the gum paste tool to pull the hot isomalt from the center of the mold to the edge. But do make sure that the isomalt does go all the way to the edge and all the way to any of the nooks and crannies so it looks completely finished. Let the butterfly wings cool on the counter until they are firm but not completely hard. You will unmold the wings when they can easily come away from the mold. I'm going to give you an example here of unmolding too early. You see here that the isomalt is not quite firm enough so it wrinkles when I try to pull it away from the mold. But you can fix this and other mistakes with a butane torch. Be careful with the torch, it's really hot. So what you're going to do is put the butterfly wing down on the counter and just be, have a light hand with this torch. Just lightly brush it and let the isomalt melt into itself. If you have some rough edges you can also try fixing them with the torch as well but just lightly touch it and let the isomalt melt in. If you find though that even after trying to fix the wing it's still not looking the way that you want to, you can always just take the isomalt and put it back into the measuring cup, remelt it and remold it. If the wings are not completely hard when you remove them from the mold you actually can bend them slightly but be careful if it's too cold they will break. Once you've bent them to what you want them to be, then place them into a shaping cup so they hold their shape while they harden. First, I'm going to show you how to form the butterfly on the wire. So put out your nonstick silicone mat with the wire and the two wings. Place a small dollop of the melted isomalt. You want the isomalt to be slightly thick. And you see here that I've scooped up the center isomalt with the wings and then held them in place until they could stand up by themselves. Let the butterfly cool on the silicone mat until it's completely hard. And this is what it looks like. Doesn't that look great? It'll look beautiful on your cake. And this is how I've used it on our panda cake. I'm also going to show you how to form the butterfly on a wooden skewer. So you place a small dollop of the melted isomalt on the silicone mat insert the skewer into the isomalt and hold it until it can stand up by itself. Now these are wooden skewers like you'd use for shish kebabs. In order to form the butterfly put another dollop of the isomalt, scoop up the butterfly wings and you can actually use forming cups or something else to hold up the wings until they get hard and can stand up by themselves. Now you're going to take the skewer with the dollop of isomalt Stick it into some warm isomalt and then essentially glue it onto the back of the formed butterfly. Hold them together 
until they're hardened and can stay together by themselves. And here we go. This is the finished butterfly on a wooden skewer. And I'm going to show you here how I have used this on my butterfly and blue flower cake. You can see here that it gives a sense of flight. The skewers are great for sticking the butterflies in the side of the cake. Thank you everyone for joining us in this tutorial. Please come to CakePlayground.com for further tutorials, equipment list, and links. Cake Playground, it's all about the fun.